Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing good. I'm okay. I'm freezing. Give me a moment. I'm going to bundle up in a blanket and my mama bear blanket. And um, talk to you for a while. Um, oh, I had a rough night last night. I uh, might have been... I had some of that strawberry preserves, and it was, uh, um, has, well, it has, um, pectin in it, gelatin. I'm allergic to it. So, that might have been it, but oh, I had cramps in my one leg really bad in my foot, and I was actually begging God for help that hurt that bad, you know. So, um, yeah, not feeling so good, had a rough, I, I did a lot more maybe than I should have to, um, I just had stuff to do, sweeping and mopping, and, but poor Doug last night, he went to make himself a breakfast that he wanted, and, um, he had his toast on and his sausage, and he went to make his eggs, and he flipped like an egg, and it flipped like all over the floor, and then by the time he used the cleaner, and I think it was um, lavender, uh, that just wrecked the whole scent of his breakfast. He didn't even eat it. He had a couple bites of cheese earlier and a V8, um, and a couple bites of my bread. When I was making mine, um, I was giving him bites. <laughs> so, like, when he was putting wood in the stove, I'm like, try this, and shoved a piece in there with some butter on it. And So we did have some substance yesterday, but... It kind of wrecked my supper, too, because, you know, he was out there spilling his all over the floor. That was terrible, anyway. So he had one earlier today. He um made a nice, made nice eggs with, he had the sausage and stuff left over. So made fresh eggs and the jam to go with it, so. Yeah, I'm listening to, uh, it's called, there's a book coming out, and, um, it's, uh, Bible Secrets and Cosmic Armageddon, They Tried to Erase, by Dr. Kevin Hogan, and, um, I've always told you that, um, the story about Mary isn't true, that she was raped, and, there's a lot more to the story, but um, from Gospels that were taken out of the Catholic Church and hidden by um, the ones that were accused of being Semitic against and all that, you know. But they hid stuff to keep it from people, to keep the church in money. That's, you know, and pe keep people under control. That's what it's all about. So I'll share that with you. It's pretty interesting. It's 55 minutes long. It's good. You know, I didn't even really like Dr. Hogan all that much when, oh, say like about five, six years ago, I thought he was pretty much of a sort of like a shill, you know. But, eh. Lately, it seems like he's been coming around to some uh, more knowledge and insight than what he used to have. And he had a lot, don't get me wrong. But, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Then you'll find out why they wanted to stone Mary. It had nothing to do with infidelity or anything that that girl did. It's a fact. The Masons know that, too. Of course they do. And the way they've twisted, um, 
the different Marys or Ann Marthas in the Bible and the different things, you'll, you'll realize what's going on when you hear that. You'll be like, oh, yeah, that, no, that makes total sense, you know, that we all know, too, and a point that um, Dr. Hogan had made that um, the word angel is just another word for messenger makes a whole lot more sense that a messenger would come and tell Mary that she was pregnant, being that she was only 12 years old. Um, she may not have realized what was going on, even with her own body at that age, you know. So, But yeah, it always, it would frazzle me. Especially it would be men kind of disrespecting on women and, you know, whether they've been through divorces or breakups or whatever they've been through, they can't separate what happened to them with um, women as a whole. And I always, like I tell people, and I'm sure my sons are thankful that I did not take out on them the pains that men have caused me. If I had taken that out on everybody, it wouldn't be pretty. It wouldn't be nice at all. So, you know, yeah, we're all guilty of it. I mean, there's, there's times, yeah. I wasn't always so nice because of the things I went through. And I could see myself going down a path of not like feminism or anything, but just the, like, attitude like, I don't need you, there's no reason for you to exist, and that type of feeling, you know, from a lot of people, you know. Yeah, it was a rough, rough, rough night. I am not even kidding. It was crazy. Anyway. And I did want to do more today. I got my exercises done. And that's probably about all I'm going to do. You know. Oh, so, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the cramps, but it's always when I eat something that I shouldn't, but I just thought, and it was no more literally about the size of um, maybe a silver dollar or like two quarters, two teaspoons on a little piece of bread that I tried it, that stuff was enough to make me suffer. Or it could have been being on my feet all day. And that could, or the combination of them both. I mean, I, you know, I did sit down, but not a lot. You know, like I pushed myself, you know. Yeah, they literally would have stoned Mary to death in the temple if she had ministrated in that temple. And if she got raped and they found out that she was pregnant, which I think was the case, they would have killed her. They may not have killed him if he was a Roman soldier. But they definitely would have killed her. So. Yeah. So, yeah. If you don't watch what Kevin Hogan said, uh, 
Mary's parents had dropped her off at the temple when she was three because um, I don't know if it, it they implied that among like um, her and other children like maybe a hundred or two hundred children within a temple that was like two football fields long um, the temple in Jerusalem that they would have kind of went unnoticed you know kind of but that maybe she was gifted in some way or something but she didn't even know her parents all she knew were like the temple priests that ra raised her so I don't know and that kind of kind of touches my heart as true you know I don't know how long this video will be. Like I say, I'm really not feeling the best, and I don't know why I'm freezing. It was really hot in here last night when you clean the ashes out of the stove. It produces more heat, so it was really, really warm in here. So I got kind of like overheated, and then I got cold, so... That's where I'm at right now, freezing. It's still cold out too. It's um, 10 degrees. Not as bad. Well, I did go out and feed the kitties this morning, that type of thing. That felt good, cause, and it was about 4 degrees then, because I was so hot. Might not have been good for me, though, but it felt good. <laughs> not, I wouldn't if I had stayed out there, but just to chill, just to get a chill, you know. And I did. <laughs> so. Yeah, I always, um... I always stuck up for Mary because it just didn't make any sense to me. Um, not like that. Not like they said it didn't. It didn't ring true. And how they would uh, mix, like the town whore, with the mother of Jesus. Those two things just always really bothered me, you know, so I think that some um, can only be straightened out with the people that are hiding the true text, which would be the Catholic Church and um, the Jesuits that are, it's Judaism, so when the Catholics and the Jews, um, either have enough pressure put on them by people or some Christ actually goes into their hearts. But I don't know. I don't know if that will ever happen. If we'll ever have the absolute truth besides what we feel is right in our hearts, you know. To me, just um, saying that it was a horror and she had got caught in adultery um, was taken in adultery is the words. That implies the man was married to me. Otherwise, caught in adultery would be on her. If you see the difference, it's it's the wording and the terminology that they use, and and that is just the separation and the disrespect that men and women show each other on this planet 
and it it's a diminishing thing to actually look at the other gender in a respectful manner. It's uh, not like it should be. So, well, I'm going to leave it there today, everybody. Um, I love you all. I appreciate you joining me. I do think you will um, find that uh, Bible se secrets, um, what he's saying there, very interesting. Then you then you might see why I um, get a little angry when men will use the bad things that have happened to them in their lives to describe something in scripture that they don't understand and they personally never lived through um, and demean women in that manner when it was all set up just to do just that. So, all right, everybody. Have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Thank you for joining me.